Oh yes. Can you ever see that? And now I'm going to invite now this window. Uh, maybe we can do something like that. Um, I, 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 I don't think I have map left with the single position here. But you can take my word for this. The rectangular window. So maybe I can do a uh, full color. You can see the difference. Uh, if you try to do this, if you try to do this, uh, so I have a signal here. So, uh, so here is uh, theta axis, and this would be the W of the rectangular window of theta. We're going to go down and have a lot of bumping here. Where? So you have something like this. You have something like this. And you need to draw out here. It is the same function. It's about 2 pi over n. That's what the rectangular window. You can draw that. Now, the heavy window, the rectangle, the heavy window, it would look like something like moving down and then like this. So that is W of the heavy window, for example, some, some window like this. Okay, so this is, is a rectangular window and this is a heavy window. Something you can compute easily, right? I can give you two window, you compute the DFT or the TFT. And, and this is a problem. So looking at this tool, right? Actually, it's a domain of the good and the bad. This thing at full, you can see that it very well suppressed other part. It suppressed other part. It suppressed other part so that when you take the signal, you don't have, you got the water of this window, some of these things come in and tell you something at this location, even though it's not coming from the line location. So this window here is going to really suppress, to a very good sort of suppressing things that are right the center. But the price you pay, the price you pay as you can see, is this thing here is about two times. It's about two times that we got suppress anything, but around this is, is, is not very precise. So again, there's no free lunch. There's the channel and the designer, depending on the application, you will choose which window to use. Very depends. You want to have a very suppression or you want to have a very sharp cut off. Okay. So you, and that question, I will come back later on when we design filter using window technique. Which window to use? And again, the question will depend on the application. You want extremely sharp cut off here, or you want to suppress the thing that that answer. But with that, that, that answer because it's a very key question. And I'm glad that you asked because you can explain that. So now I go back and show you that figure again. Uh, and an example here. You do another N sample with the frequency over here. Another N here. So you don't lose anything. I kept that N, you can go by using the inverse EFT to go to original signal. Right? So that, that, that exactly simple scenario. Of course, what I do all in all is you, know, you don't want to take those window separate. You want to do analysis. You want to do analysis. You want to make this thing that there's some overlap because otherwise this signal has a very bad uh, effect. It gets sharply cut off here, right? Because when you do this window, maybe you can hold. So people will do the overlapping window. And the topic, they go a little bit deep, so called the, the, the Gabo platform, uh, time frequency analysis. So, the answer, the short answer, there's a very simple case you can do. There's a more complicated case you can do, and, and there's a common resource topic that you can do. Right? And maybe think of one. And what W, small W here, would be equal to one? What does it go? 
The simple, simple impulse. Right? You got anything constant is simple impulse. And convolution with the simple impulse, of course, doesn't do anything, right? Just going back to the original story. You have to deal with a very, very long signal for this. Right? So the thing we have here is we want to maintain y omega as close as possible to x omega for every omega, for every frequency. Right? Because here we are doing frequency analysis, but yes, we have a suggestion that this one is more better if you want to pass certain frequency but not the other. Okay. Okay. So that I'm going back to the only question and maybe I I didn't explain uh like and uh, let's say we have a signal here. And you break them into windows, right? So I throw the one at different windows, right? Different window now, and I have a different piece of the signal, a different window now. And taking a signal, I can do anything I like with this. Let's say compute the DFT. And I know that I go to DFT. From the DFT, I can go back. Exactly. Right? Because it just, it goes into a transform. So I can go back here, and very on this, I can put them together and get a signal. So that would be a simple scenario. Now, if you want to have even more window, of course, now what do you have here is you have more data than you would need. Right? Because, for example, before, and that's a good question, let's say I have a signal from here to here, uh, let's say I have a half center, and I break the window into 10, 20. And each of those from here, I convert them into 10 out of the DFT. So I have, going back only, I got to put this signal here to the matrix. There's a 10 of them and 10 of them here. So I have 100 samples. Go up those. So I come from 100 samples, where you have 100 samples here, go back. Now, in analysis, people know that it's a little, a little bit too poor. So people will do something like, maybe make a window from here to here, let's say 20, and then you make a window overlap by, by, by 10. Okay.